and welcome to a how-to video for SAP Business One. In this video we're going to show you how to use UI configuration and UI configuration templates uh, so you can set a specific UI configuration for uh, different users or different user groups um, across your company. Now for this example to start to show you what a UI configuration is I'm going to um, open up a sales order here and now this is kind of the generic layout that comes out of the box, but let's say I wanted to move some things around, relabel, um, change this configuration to make it a little more efficient for my workflow. So to do that, I'm going to go to Tools, and I'm going to Edit Form UI, and it's going to open up Edit Mode. Now once it's in Edit Mode here, I can uh, do a number of things. So let's say, for example, this customer reference number, I'm just going to move it. So I'm going to click it, I'm going to hold my mouse button, and I can move it around. I can put it wherever I'd like here too. Now let's say it wasn't something that we ever use and I wanted to just get rid of it to make it a little cleaner here. I can highlight, right click, I can hide it, and it goes away. Okay. Um, as far as these tabs go, we can add new tabs. Again, I can right click, I can add a tab, and it's going to add another tab for me, and I can drag uh, um, different fields in there um, if I'd like to as well. Uh, now to save these changes, I would click, right click and save, but in this instance I don't want to save what I just did there, uh, so we're just going to exit and say no, I don't want to change that. Now the next step is if we want to make these changes for more than one user, or let's say it's a whole group of users, we're going to go to, I'm going to type in UI, and we're going to go to UI Configuration Template, and this is under Administration and Utilities here. So I'm going to open that up. And we're going to see that uh, this is just our out-of-the-box templates here, and we already have one created for administrative. So I'm going to go to administrative um, in here, and then I already have some that are configured for us, which sales order, sales quote, air invoice. To add a new one, I'm going to open this up, and you can see a wide, wide, wide variety of things you can change the UI for. Okay. For this example, I'm going to go into our sales order since we used that already. And to do that, I'm just going to click on it and it's going to open up uh, some options for us. We can edit form UI and we can copy to if we'd like to. So let's go to edit form UI and this should look familiar here. So this is where we just were. Now if I wanted to change the, make these changes again, move around, I would save. And once I hit save, it's going to make these changes for whoever's assigned to uh, the administrative group there. Now to see who those changes are affecting, I can go to assigned users here, and I can open up, and I can um, make changes here. I can add people to it. I can update, and then those changes are going to affect those specific users that I made on that particular marketing document. Now we can also do this with groups, so if you have your users in groups already, um, you can go in here and you can simply select this instead of selecting those individual users. Now where this is in the system is user groups. So that is done under administration setup, general, and user groups. And here are all our different user groups. Now our group type is set to authorization, which is not what we're trying to change here. We're going to go to UI configuration template. And then here's our UI configuration template. Now we can also add a new one here, up at the top on our, our our logo, this bar up here. We can go to user groups, we can add a new one, choose what group we're going to add it to, click add, and it'll add it below. And then we have the ability to add different users to the um, group as well. So let's say, I'm going to exit add mode here. We're going to go back in. We can add different users to the to the group here. And then once we update, um, that will affect those uh, users now. Thank you for watching this video. As always, please reach out to us here at Support One with any questions. Click on the link to subscribe for more content.